Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Don't forget to keep the conversation going. I'll be reading your comments after. I know I keep on saying I know, I know, because <laughs> me, I'm uh, such a person, I get to keep on the conversation going everywhere I go. So, nilikatizwa nikiendelea kuongea. Get the hack. So, with me here, I have a guest. I know, na glow sana. I hope she shines sana. Camera kama mefanya ni shine sana. <laughs> Okay, so I'd want you to introduce yourself and kindly tell me who are you? What do you do? Uh, hey guys, uh, my name is David Masai. I'm a makeup artist by profession. Uh, so I do makeup professionally and also for fun. Um, yeah. So why why would you did you end up standing beauty? Uh, for me, beauty. I've grown up with a couple of sisters, so mm-hmm. I've always watched them struggle to, you know, just look nice, feel good. So, mm-hmm. as growing up, I think this was one of the main reasons I had a passion for beauty. So I was like, yo, you know, if I can make money and still help people feel good, why not? So last week we had a principals from Linton's Academy. Yeah. And you're from Linton's. Yeah. So why did you? What was your exp- let me start with what was your experience at Linton's Academy? Um, at studying at Linton's was actually one of the best experiences. It's a very professional setting, so you get really trained uh, by professionals. Uh, you also give an advice, entrepreneurship advice. Let's say for me, I'm I'm employed by I'm a re- I work at a retail store. Mm-hmm. So let's say you want to start your own thing, you want to start a business. So they guide you, they give you entrepreneurial lessons, they also give you the products. Uh, understanding Linton's is one of the major uh, beauty retailers. East and Africa, not only Nairobi, yeah, but in right. East and Africa, mm-hmm. yeah. And they ma- they partner with notable brands yeah like mm-hmm. recently we just had uh rihanna all of you know her i'm sure exactly <laughs> I, i'm actually just from telling them yeah fenty is supposed to launch their products may 27th may 27 i think that's yeah. next week yeah yeah next week so linton has exposure you need in the market uh it's uh it has partnered with a lot of other brands like uh Koto africa um, drum east africa so as a student you get to also get exposure to what the industry feels like yeah that's why i chose to say so why did you choose lintons and what is the most important lesson you learned from lintons and you, you can easily just sell it on anyone this is why you should go for lintons academy um basically lintons is the place where you wanna you know get the juice from uh they have uh, as i've said they have professionals they have state-of-the-art classes and training rooms uh, you should come actually you should come and see what where i study it's it's like a proper like um international school so that was the reasons i went to the college and i felt a, a sense of belonging you know i felt like this is where i needed to be because you can you can see everything you need to play with from the massages to every single thing yeah if you could bring five things while you're going to your work what will they be sorry coming in if you are going to work yeah the essential five things of makeup that is what will they be <laughs> five things uh i need my brushes of course you need the tools because mm. without the tools you can so do you the makeup brush because they can't be all 10 brushes <laughs> <laughs> uh, so i'd bring a foundation brush for sure mm-hmm. i'd also bring a moisturizer mm-hmm. i'd bring a lip gloss mm-hmm. i'd bring um a palette that has all the colors that I need, like the one I'll use on you t- today. Mm-hmm. And, the last one. and the last one, there's a product called Setting Spray. I'd bring our iconic uh, Fix Plus by Mark mm-hmm. Setting Spray. Yeah. Okay, so he's already told you he's going to be doing my makeup live. I can't wait to see the transformation. And I love makeup. I love looking good. I love feeling good. Because when you look good, you feel good, they say. Definitely, yeah. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> who inspired you to be an artist? inspired me to be an artist i got my inspiration from my sisters um as i was growing up like i said earlier on Mm -hmm. i used to watch them play around with you know beauty beauty products beauty products so it came from my sisters women basically um okay the major question here is you have done makeup yeah for me yeah i don't like my makeup yeah what would you do 
Um, for me, when I'm creating a look, I, I try to listen to you. I listen to what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. And I also try to find inspiration from what you're wearing. So the whole time, we'll be co-creating the look with you. I won't be doing my thing. If I do the brows, I show you. Mm -hmm. If you like them, if you don't, we take them off. But um, if someone doesn't like a look that I've done, I try to remove everything because it saves time, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, in that channel. Have right. you encountered such a person? Okay, I tend I tend to believe in your work because yeah. if you sell me and you tell me you've done it so many times, yeah. I'll be like, okay, it's a good work. So, no. But major thing is they say it's the eyebrows, right? Yeah, if you yeah. draw the eyebrows right, okay, tell me a hack then. But if you do this and this right, your makeup gets popping. Um, it all depends with uh, what kind of features you like playing with. Some people like their lips to pop more. Mm -hmm. Some other people love their skin to pop more. Mm -hmm. And some people like their eyes to pop more. What would you advise to pop more? Um, it's uh, actually um, depending on what you like. So for someone who feels like their brows are not in check, you can always go for the brows and the eyes. Let's say someone has pigmentation or maybe uneven skin, you can always go for the skin. Or maybe you feel like your lips need to be enhanced a bit, you can always choose the lips. So it's always, but you can also have everything good, looking good. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. What's the most fond memory you've had at Linton's Academy? Uh, at Linton's, basically, um, there's a time uh, last year, December, we were selected to go to Dubai, do Dubai Fashion Week. And uh, it was, the theme was from Africa to the world. Um, the fashion show was from Nigeria, so makeup artists had to be. Oh, hence the attitude of drawing. Yeah. And that things. Oh, but there I saw, go stalk him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so basically, that was one of the trip. Uh, you guys know Naomi Campbell. Naomi was there. Uh, oh. Dibanj was there. Mm -hmm. So. Um, being backstage and um, doing makeup, one of the one of the best things I love doing. Mm -hmm. It's 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 and surreal because you never see it coming, you know. So that was that is one of my best memories so far. What was your dream career? Because like you said, you grew up seeing your sisters applying makeup, but that was growing up. It means yeah. you had something else in mind. Yeah. So what was your dream career? I've always been fascinated uh, with models, so like working with them, creating a shoot. You know, uh, working backstage is very crazy, from where the models are dressed to a point where you can see the models walking on the runway. It's such a surreal uh, experience. So for me, I've always wanted to work backstage, either with models or designer, and I feel like right now, everything has just fall into place the way it's meant to, so yeah. <laughs> what is the first job you did? Can you remember what happened? The first job, like the first person you applied makeup on other than yourself? Other than myself. Yeah. Um, the first show that we did was uh, that was professional was uh, Darling. Uh, Darling was rebranding the hair brand mm -hmm. and uh, they had a short Radisson Blue Upper Hill. Mm -hmm. And we had almost a hundred models and it was insane. So. You just had to add your game on. So that was one of my first, first memories as a makeup artist into the real world. Yeah. Mm. Okay, you guys, you're hearing it. I hope you get to comment. I hope you're stalking him also. And stalk me too for the transformation because I'll get to post the photos there. So would you advise anyone to join Linton's? Definitely. Um, if you're looking uh, with the beauty industry, is such a large industry, mm -hmm. uh, I could work with you guys for TV and production. I could also work for um, music videos. I could also um, work um, as an uh, SFX. You know how they come up with a SFX crazy makeup on film. Uh, Linton's offers you these experiences because without them you don't know what kind of um, industry it is. There's beauty glam, there's avant-garde, there's runway. There's so many types of makeup. So with Linton's, they really narrow it down and just give you the, um, they tell you what focus your energy onto, where you can, you love doing and yeah, yeah. Okay, I still have a lot of questions. Sure. And I'll get to ask you as we're doing the transformation, but we're going on a very short break. I told you I'm going to read your comments after to Memaliza. Okay, guys, so we're going on a very short break. Keep the conversation going on our social media platforms. That is Facebook at KUTV Kenya, Instagram at KUTV Kenya, and we are also live at OnFlick TV Show. See you in a few. Nikki Transformiwa.